Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. Today I want to do a updated perfume collection. I have not done one of these tours in a long time and this is actually a video that I wanted to film in honor of my one year perfume YouTube channel anniversary. <laughs> That's a little long winded, but I just, I didn't have the time to get around to it until now. So better late than never. I've had <laughs> quite a few additions to my collection. It's much, much bigger. I think it's going to be very hysterical to compare it to my first ever perfume collection tour. So maybe we'll do a little side by side at the end. We'll see. But yeah, guys, let's jump into it. I'm going to show you what perfumes I have and what I've been loving lately. All right, so this is what my collection is looking like these days. I have been getting a lot of questions about my bottle count. I have absolutely no idea. Is that funny? In the real world, everyone talks about body count, but in Fragcom, we talk about bottle count. But I actually have no idea. I guess I will start from this far corner, work my way down and over. So. Up here in the top left, we have just some um, different niche brands. Um, this is all from Hez Parfums. This was a brand at Exxon's that I talked with and they gifted me these two bottles. Lorenzo Pazagalia. I feel like this guy was a famous chef or something like that. But this fragrance is actually really, I really enjoyed this one. And then this one he said was his favorite, Carbonara. <laughs> I'm not really sure how I feel about it, but I really like the cherry ink one. And then this was sent over to me by Suspiro. It's really nice, kind of like a gourmand rose oud, but it leaked in transit. I don't really show it that much. I think it's called Cupid Parfums, but you can see that the gold kind of rubbed off and then some random sample. And then we have the Make and Sense Unaverage Patch. Shout out to the Unaverage Joe. And we have Coco Nana's by Rirana and Miami by City Rhythm, sample of Oud Nude. There's like a bunch of samples randomly everywhere. I have so many samples, that's a whole tour within itself, <laughs> honestly. There's so many, like, you think I have a lot of bottles, you should see my sample collection. So now we have the Zahara fragrances down here. I, uh, this shelf and the one on the other end is more for just like perfumes from houses that I have a lot of, so I can kind of keep them all together. So we have Coco Loco, Leather Tabac, Signature Tabac, Signature Rosé, Signature Citrine, um, Of the Immortals, and Evening Mystique and Second Soul, the Zaharoff Creator Fragrance Collaborations. And then we have some John Barbados, whole bunch of them. My favorite is Artisan Pure. We have our Creeds, which you guys saw in my Creed video, and Original Santal is probably my favorite. And then this is Scentologia, and this was a sister brand of Scentologia Paradise Descends. I have to dive into these a little. Um, they just sent these over for me to try, and I need to test them out a little bit more, but Synergy is an icon. A true icon. And then when we come down here, we have a lot of men's stuff. We have some men's stuff, designer and niche. We have our Jean Paul Gaultier's, Blue de Chanel's, um, the Aqua de Joe, plus the Parfum here, which, oh God, I'm really thinking about selling this. I really regret buying this online. Uh, I don't know, I just, I was not really impressed. We have our Parfums de Marley fragrances, Sudley, Leighton Exclusive, Herod, Greenlee and Haltane, my baby Haltane. And then we have some more designers, Yves Saint Laurent Y, Eau de Parfum, my favorite from the line, Invictus Victory, Elixir, Spice Bomb Extreme. Then we have our One Millions, and I just got Elixir, so I'm gonna do a buying guide for the One Million line. We have it all here, the Privé, One Million Lucky, the Eau de Toilette, One Million Royale, and One Million Parfum. And then down here we have our little Versace's, the new, Mont Blanc Explorer Platinum, which I'm obsessed with. Some Gentleman, um, Boise, and the Privé one. And then we have Ombre Leather. This one is kind of just hanging out on its own for some reason. And then we have my my love, Pache de Cartier, Edition Noir, with all of my Mikalefs. Obsessed with. This is a beautiful office scent. Gian Tonic is a summertime killer. Red Colorado is very unique smelling, like a cypress fresh kind of scent. And Desire Toxic is for the bad boys that like things that smell like marijuana. And then coming down here, we have more men's stuff, some cheapies, and then just some other designers. Eau Sauvage Parfum a Armani Privé, Burberry London, my favorite from Louis Cardin Sacred. And then I just scored this for 20 bucks the other day, the, uh, the Gin Tonic, I believe that's what it's called. 
We have Savage Elixir, just cover that up. We don't need <laughs> to see that. And then the most wanted, wanted Eau de Parfum, Moustache, Blum Ideal, Guerlain, some more random Tom Fords, Noir and Noir Extreme Parfum, Blue Electric, Electric, and Armani Code Profumo, Versace Dylan Blue, some cheapy CK Shock. Um, this is a really interesting brand. Really expensive, but it wasn't that impressive. It's like a very nice, elegant scent, but it's not the most impressive thing in the world. And then we have Credible, which is like Silver Mountain Water, but for $35 or $39. Missoni Wave, we have Narciso Rodriguez, Blue Noir, Parfum, Montblanc Explorer, Legend Red, Uomo, Light Blue, Oh Intense. And we have our little baby of Le Mal Le Parfum and my little sample of playing with the devil, some minis, some Terre de Hermes, Eros Flame, and Dolce & Gabbana one, Oh Fresh. This is like going to get me out of breath. And then down here we have just some, this is kind of like a little random corner. There's just some random things, some samples, all of my amazing Etsy samples and perfumes that I ordered last year for my buying guide for Etsy. Then we have, of course, all the office date, fragrance one, and day for women. Black tie, we got it all. So that's the first little shelf in my collection. And then moving over to the fun stuff. This is actually all stuff that I'm Considering selling, except for this, Golden Tears. Um, well, no, I'm not I'm not gonna sell Cloud, I take that back, but like these ones I don't really wear. So, but then we get down here to the fun stuff. This is more like women's designers. We have the Juliet Has a Gun in the back with the Versace Crystal Noir. My favorite from Estee Lauder, Infinite Sky, Valentino Donna, Born in Roma. This is also one of the first perfumes that I bought after Good Girl, and you can see there's just a little tiny bit left. We have Mon Guerlain, Romance Eau de Parfum, and Romance Parfum with the famous Musk Noir Rose, Givenchy L'Interdit, La Belle. These two Mont Blancs are amazing deals. I got this for 35 and this for 50 and they're just, they're fantastic. I have my little Aliens and my Seven Virtues that I love. And then we have my little Tom Ford row that just keeps growing and growing thanks to the cosmetic company store. Vinny Fatal, Tobacco Vinny, Bitter Peach. Um, didn't get Electric Cherry there, sadly, or fucking Fabulous. I had to get these um, elsewhere. Tom Ford Costa Azura, my Black Orchid, and my Black Orchid Velvet, which I am loving this more. And this is a super slept on fragrance, the Lancome IDL Le Parfum. This is like the morning after perfume. You want someone to remember you, this is the one, and it's so cheap. I think I paid $65 for this. Amazing price for a designer. Then we have another one of my favorite designers, the Nomad Absolute. De Parfum, for some reason it's backwards. There we go. Then we have my La Perla Possibilities and we have my Libre Le Parfum and a little 10 ml of Burberry Her. And then down here is some of the, some of it's unisex, some is for men, some of it's, technically it's all unisex, but most of it's kind of feminine leaning except the Zerjops. These are all the Zerjops that I bought or were gifted to me by friends. Um, Naxxas, More Than Words, 40 Knots, Golden Dollar, Via Cavour, and the Pride Edition, Tony Aomi, Amber Star and Star Musk, and Alexandria 3. I bought this for Black Friday last year, a little discovery set, but I gave away two other ones. I gave one to Kelsey and I did a giveaway of my Via Cabor. I'm sure you guys remember that. Then we have the female Parfums de Marley, Delina Exclusive, Falaya and Delina La Rose. Then we have my Fragrance Du Bois, London Spice, which is something that is just fantastic for a man. Very, very elegant, very beautiful. Then we have Lovers. I am absolutely obsessed with Lovers. It is so good. It's unbelievable. Like It is one of my favorites at the moment. And then we have, of course, another huge love for me, Minoui et Demi. I'm so scared to wear this because I'm scared they're going to discontinue it and then I won't be able to have it. And I just, I love this scent so much. And then we have Solstice, which is just the most iconic summer scent. It's a really beautiful, just niche quality, but very simple citrus kind of creamy scent. And then we have some BDK. We have the Tabac Rose, Creme de Cure, and Rouge Smoking. I love my BDKs. I really want to try the new vanilla leather one. And down here we have some Milano Fragonzi. We have Galleria and Panettone. Both of these I really love. Then we have my Stefan Umberluca, which is a lot because I bought three for 
Well, I bought God of Fire like a year ago, and then I bought Venom Incarnate and Panthea Iris, and then they sent Pink Boa for free. That was a promotion that they were doing. And then they sent me Mango Kiss and Lady White Snake. Amazing, amazing. Then we have some Atelier Desores. We have Pink Me Up, which is just an iconic, fun champagne bubbly scent. We have Iris Fob, which is another love, major love for me. This is one that I just got in New York and I am just head over heels in love. And then we have Sintra by Memo, my first Memo. I just bought this the other day. It's like an even better version of Love Don't Be Shy. Like Love Don't Be Shy is the girly version. This is like the grown woman version, beautiful. And then here we have the new Lieb, which I was not very impressed with. I'm sure you guys saw my review on that one. It's going to be going back to the store because this bottle, like we think that Blue de Chanel and Dior Sauvage are overpriced. This was $175 for this thing. It's just like, why? Why? It's not worth the money. It's going back. The Le Parfum is still forever my baby. Nautica Voyage, this is, I think, the first batch of Club de Nuit Intense Man. David Al Coolwater, Quorum, Givenchy Gentleman, Antaeus Chanel, some guest perfume, Halloween Man X, which I got a lot of comments on this one on my coffee video. I was actually really let down by this. I don't really get a ton of coffee. And for the price, I paid $28 for this. I don't really think that it's that good for that price. Like I could recommend a million other things for a third, well not a million, but quite a few other things for around that price range that are a lot better than this, like better quality, better, just everything. For example, Uomo by Salvatore Ferragamo is a much better coffee scent than that. That just smells young, artificial. This is very like wearable, all age and very high quality smelling, like almost like niche vibes going on in this one. Mont Blanc Individual, the clone of original Santal, Jupe, Jope, <laughs> the Dreamer, Blue Jeans, which I hate. We should just take that away. Um, Black Legend, which is an Aventus clone, Bentley Intense. We have Moschino Toy Boy, just some other random older bottles of things, the Creed Aventus, Misuko. We have my little, 10 ml of Oud for Greatness, which I need to film a side-by-side -side of this in Haltane because I get asked about that a lot. And which one I prefer more, we have some of the Oud Satin perfumes from Maison Francis Kirk John. And then coming over to the last shelf, we have some goodies. We have some perfumes from Gisele, which these are done by Christian Carbonell, so they're amazing. Wit is very interesting. It has like a honeydew kind of cantaloupe note in here that makes it really different. Then we have Maison Francis Kirkshawn, Gentle Fluidy Silver. We have some fragrances from Scent Journey, which is an amazing American-based niche brand in Sarasota, Florida. This is another really good brand that I discovered at Exxon's. And I do think that Christian Carbonell also made these, but I'm not exactly sure. This is one that I fell madly in love with, with Navitas. It's kind of like a gin tonic meets vibrato <laughs> meets tiger kind of scent. But other than that, this one, Chocolate Queen by Navitas was my favorite discovery so far for a woman. Then we have Kind Intentions and Venom of Love back here. Then we have my 10 mLs of Aaron Terrence Hughes. And then coming down here, it's the same kind of situation as on the other shelf. It's just lines of things. We have a ton of Miller Harris fragrances. Um, these three are probably my tops that I wear the most often. Scherzo and America Muse and this new one, Hydra Figue, which is a very cool fig fragrance. Beautiful for the summer. Then we have some scent of wood here, plum and cognac and praline and maple. I tried these at Scent Explorer. And one day <laughs> after I moved, I drove by my old apartment and there was a package there and it was from Scent of Wood. And I was like, wow, that was really lucky that I picked up that package. Uh, really great surprise. So thank you so much. I cannot wait until winter to wear these. They're just amazing. Then we have some Dittique, we have Temp, a little 10 ml of Tempo Eau du Well, which I had engraved, Eau de Erica, and Orpheon. And then we have one of their newer ones, Eau Nabiti, which I really, really like. It's kind of like a warm, earthy scent. We have some Omen Luxury Maria, which is like the female counterpart to Tony Iommi. We have Zafar and Oud Aquilaria. I am obsessed with these ones as well. I went through a discovery set, and these were definitely my favorite from Omen Luxury. And then over here we have the Suspiras. Vibrato, I've almost gone through this bottle of Vibrato. It's so good. Basso, we have Bel Canto and Pasticcio and Prima Donna, which I also really, really love. And so this section, I like to call my pinky perfume section 
because most of these are very pinky. <laughs> Not all of them, but most of them. We have Symphonium by Zerjoth, A Chanto Overdose, Central Instinct, Baby Cat, woo, zooming in, sorry, Absolute Aphrodisiac, Southern Bloom by Goldfields and Banks and Island Lush. We have Cedro from Paris Monte Carlo and Vini de Tahiti, which I feel like I'm saying that very wrong, but I'm gonna switch these around. <laughs> okay, and then we have my imaginary authors. I also just bought this one for this summer, St. Julep. This one is so good. I mean, oh my God, when I smell this, I was just like, I am in heaven. Sweet mint, tangerine, southern magnolia, bourbon, grisalva, sugar cube, and crushed ice. Oh my God, this one is just unbelievable. In love with everything, whiff of a waffle cone is a sample of something. I think it's the soft lawn. We have this Sweet Reflection by Algabra, which is really, really nice as well. Then we have this random Creed scent that, <sighs> Spice and Wood, it's too much money, it's not worth it, it doesn't smell that amazing. But then we have some Mikalef, Note Vini, and Soleil Passion. These are both 10 out of 10 fragrances. This is the most elegant, luxurious vanilla I've ever smelled in my life. Really the most like put together expensive vanilla. Then we have Amouage Overture Woman. This one is my baby. This is like the female counterpart to Apple Brandy on the Rocks. Then we have some Killian, Love Don't Be Shy, and Princess. Then I have a little sample of Rolling in Love. We have some Louis Vuitton, Spell on You. Oh, should I even try to pronounce this? A Trepe Red. I know it's not right, but this one is beautiful. This one is kind of like, it gives me Via Cavour 1 vibes a little bit. It's missing a lot of the like dimensional notes and things that are in Via Cavour 1, like the patchouli, the dark chocolate, but there's something in this that relates to Via Cavour 1. So I don't know. I feel like it's more feminine than Via Cavour 1. Via Cavour 1 does kind of lean a little femme, but in a very like sweet gourmand way. But this one, there's something about it that is like femme femme. Like I wouldn't recommend a man to wear this. But if you have a chance to smell it and you want to get like a very slight idea of what Via Cavour, like the direction that it goes in, this is a good one. Gentle Fluidy Gold, Blanche Bet, no cap, so sad. We have another one from Navitas, Ambrosia Imperial. And then we have the Maison Margiela collection down here, By the Fireplace, Jazz Club, Coffee Break, and Matcha Meditation. I think that these two are probably my favorites. I mean, you can never go wrong with By the Fireplace or Jazz Club, but I'm a sucker for coffee and Matcha Meditation is just something else. That matcha note, there's like a dark chocolate or white chocolate kind of note too, it's just, it's really, really good. And then we have some more Killians. We have Angel Share, the 15 year anniversary edition and Apple Brandy on the Rocks. One of my tops for men forever. And then we have one of these older bottles of Fun Things Always Happen After Sunset. And then we have Poets of Berlin. We have another bottle of Soleil Passion. This came in their advent calendar. And then we have Ealing and Gold Nectar, both amazing fragrances for the summer. And then down here, you can see it's a little empty, but I'm working on filling it up. <laughs> I don't think it's gonna take very long. I'm just waiting on a package to arrive now of some things that I ordered, but we, it's just kind of like a little mesh of a lot of things. We have the Stronger With You absolutely and intensely in the back. We have Jimmy Choo, I Want Choo, which is a stunning, stunning designer scent. We have some Mask Milano, Petra, and Tango. And then we have the new La Vie Belle Iris Absolute, iconic new release from La Vie Belle, really surprised me. And then we have literally my first bottle of perfume that I ever bought, Carolina Herrera Good Girl. There is just a little tiny bit, I don't think you can see it, but there is just a little tiny bit left in the bottom of this, but I'm gonna keep it forever. Then we have Good Girl Blush. I love the scent of this, but the problem is that it does not perform very well. It's not very loud and it doesn't last very long, which is really sad. This was another kind of disappointing buy for me. And then we have Jo Malone Wood Sage and Sea Salt. I got this at the cosmetic company store. I will just mainly use this for layering, I'm sure. Then we have Nishane Vane and Naive, which I was suckered in by the name, of course, and the red plate I love, but the scent is amazing. Also done by Christian Carbonell. There's a plum note, very fruity and musky. Really, really good. More for a woman, I would say. We have my first empty bottle of Via Cavour one. My new one is up there. And then we have Cacherelle, Yes I Am. Another amazing cheapie. We have my one ounce bottle of Italica. And then we have my Mon Boudoir by Hulagant. Tully de Hermes. This is just like a really simple rose patchouli. 
this fragrance from Ormond Jane, yes, look at that gem that I put in there, is so good. Everyone talks about Levant, but this is the one that you need to buy. Babylonia. This one is so good, gourmand. There's a praline note, sweet, citrusy. It's amazing. It, I wouldn't say that it really lasts the longest, but I still really enjoy it, obviously. And then we have um, Rebel Fleur. I just bought this because it was really, really cheap and I've seen other influencers say that it's really good. Um, I still need to test it out. So yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. That is my updated collection. I guess if we want to look up here, I got this refill of apple brandy. Oh my God. That's sad. Apple brandy on the rocks. Uh, fragrance Bra box, some test strips. My number one fragrance icon mug. Very funny, ha ha ha. I know I'm a comedian. And Fragrance Bra Tom Ford. First time that I've done this in a long time. So it'll be very interesting to see by the end of the year what my collection is looking like then. So yeah guys, that is my updated perfume collection. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Leave a comment below what you guys think of my collection. Am I losing my mind? Am I spending way too much money? Is it worth the credit card debt? Jokes. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. I really love and appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you so much for everything and being here with me. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.